when it comes to study skills, what was the hardest part for you transitioning mm. to college? Yeah, that's a great that's a great question. I think I really had to like learn like how to be patient, like with myself, mm. and know that um, um, that you know um, you're gonna be bad at something for a long time, especially compared to other people, and um, um, but that that's okay. Delve into it for a while and don't be easy on yourself. Um, recognize that you're bad, and then just 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 keep trying to. Um, and get practice and do better. That's, don't, don't, don't take a shortcut. That's beautiful, yeah. that's beautiful. I love yeah. it, I love it, I love it. What's an example of a time when you disappointed yourself? I mean, you... legit, like, I think my first or second quarter, um, like here, um, I took this math class. I, you know, calculus and stuff like that was very fine to me. But, um, but like, linear algebra and, like, multivariable calculus was just, like, this kind of, like, other story, and other students performed, like, way better. Um, and, um, um, and just like the first like few tests, I absolutely bombed. And How bad? Like 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 fifty percent, like sixty percent. And the the median, you know, like was like ten or twenty points higher, which is fine. I guess I kind of just like had to had to realize that um, in studying, I, um, I I couldn't just like take shortcuts and like look at the answers and assure myself that I will remember it next time, but to do like real practice and, and hours, like office hours, like all the time. Like there's hella like TAs and stuff like that like on campus or like it like like in the class and then and then like I said I guess just like kind of being smart with my time and kind of booking more time to like do do that sort of practice you end up passing of course yeah